Hi, what did you eat for breakfast? I ate apples, cereal, and eggs this morning. Do you see these commas? Today we're going to learn all about using commas in a series. I said we'll use commas in a series, but first, what is a series? A series is a list of words or phrases in a sentence. These words or phrases are related or connected in some way. For example, chairs, desks, and beds are related. They're all furniture. Football, basketball, and baseball are related. They're all sports. Red, blue, and purple are related. They're all colors. Do you see what I'm saying? We're going to work on using commas in sentences with a series of related words or phrases. Now let's make a sentence using a series of words. Tess plays football, basketball, and baseball. In this sentence, we have a series of words football, basketball, and baseball. So we need to use the commas to separate these related words within the same sentence. So let's put the first comma here after football and a second comma here after basketball. Let's read again. Now with the commas to act as pauses. Tess plays football, basketball, and baseball. Here's another one. Henley packed her swimsuit goggles and a towel. Commas should go after each item except the last. So let's place one here just after swimsuit and another one after goggles. Commas don't work like a period, but create short little pauses like this. Henley packed her swimsuit, goggles, and a towel. This time, let's place commas in a series of phrases. A phrase is not just one word, but a group of words. Quincy made his bed, packed his bag, and got dressed before breakfast. We have three phrases here that tell us what Quincy did. Made his bed, packed his bag, and got dressed. Where should you put the commas? Let's put a comma after made his bed, then another one after packed his bag. Okay, it's your turn. Can you place the commas in this sentence? We added tomatoes, spinach, and cheese on the pizza. The first comma goes after the first item in the series, and the second comma goes before the last item in the series. Try another one, but this time place the commas to separate the series of phrases. You need to add two cups of flour, three spoons of sugar, one egg, and one stick of butter. Oof! Where do you need to add the commas? Let's separate these phrases first. Two cups of flour, three spoons of sugar, one egg, and one stick of butter. Where do you need to add the commas? Put the comma after the first group, second group, and the third group just before the last phrase. Good job! How did you do? You did amazing staying tuned and learning all about how to use the commas correctly in a series of words and phrases. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and like and subscribe so I can continue to make more. If you want more practice, check out the links in the description. Thanks and see you next time! Bye!